Back to the drawing board yeah. once again and figure out how to use all that talent and ability that he has and channel it the right way so he can come through in situations yeah. like this. All right, now on to the main event, the men's gold medal match and the Turkish crowd waiting for this. It's a Turkish delight. Two Turkish archers going head to head for the gold medal. Demir Elmatla wishes he could be out there, but if not, he's going to be cheering both of them on. Yeah, there's, Ever a, there's a lot extra on this line. The winner will make the finals. Yes. And you are looking at Evren Chaharan, who won six matches this week to reach this gold medal match. Along the way, he defeated Gabriel Badenhorst of South Africa by five, and Camilo Cardona of Colombia by one. And today, he'll be facing his teammate from Turkey, Samet Jan Yakula, who also won six matches, including wins over South Africa's Patrick Rue and Seppi Siliers. And then he survived a shoot-off with Mike Schlosser. So a good look at Samet John Yakele. 54th in the world. Averaging 9.7 points per arrow. John Yakele facing Chaharan. And all of Turkey on the edge of their seats here are the grandstands on Coney Alti Beach. And the chant goes up. I'm just not sure exactly who they're cheering for. Who's their favorite? Yeah, yeah who's, I, who's, who's the favorite? Where they go? Who do they want to win? <laughs> I think both. Yeah. Wouldn't it be great if this one went to a shoot off? Oh, yeah. We've had one today. Yeah. Only one. And that involved the Turkish archer, Yashim Bostan, yeah. who picked up the bronze medal in the women's competition. Been a long time coming, but two Turks on the line shooting for a gold medal in Antalya. Whoa. And a shaky start for Samet. Which we go to inexperience here. Both of these, I don't believe either one of these guys have ever really stepped foot out there in an individual match. I don't recall having seen them in a medal match before. No. And here they are, first time on this field today. Yeah. First time ever in a medal match, let alone a gold medal match, yeah. let alone against a teammate. Or to make the World Cup Finals. And to make the World Cup. Thanks yeah. for throwing that in. Yeah. You just keep piling it on. Other than that. Yeah, they're just yeah. out there shooting some arrows. Sure. <laughs> so a better start for Evren Chaharan, who is 24. Three years old, as you take a good look at Samet Jan Yakala, who is a 19 year old, ranked 54th in the world, 9.6 points per arrow, has 12 wins on his resume, including one tiebreaker, won team gold medals at the Youth Championships in Yankton, South Dakota, a year ago, and the Youth Championships in China three years ago, 2013. So it's not as inexperienced. Just a little inexperience here with the, with the what I would call kind of the big dogs, you know. I mean, the big dogs on the big stage. stage. Yes. Biggest stage. Yep. Cameras, lights, yep. action. Yep. It's a real wilds talking about you on Archery TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got. It's a different. It's. You know, I mean, I love the youth coming up. I think it's awesome. But it's a different stage to walk from a youth world championships to an adult. You know, I mean, it's a whole different ball game. A little bit of a step up from Yankton. Yeah. Although we love Yankton. Yeah. I was there last week. It's quite the place. Nice. Nice. Support. Well, they sit on down a little better. Yeah. Yeah. Just takes a little settling yeah. in. And that is a beautiful shot. Yeah. Well executed, well done. Strikes pay dirt. Chaharan had a five point advantage, 28 23 after the opening end. And just keeps shooting tens. Looking a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more determined. 
Yeah, with that kind of lead, it does allow you to have a little more. Yeah, there's his first arrow in the 10, so. No let up no, for Evren Chaharan. The 23 year old ranks 74th in the world. All this week he's been using Demir Elma Achla's backup bow. He had some problems with his own. Well, maybe that's what you do, send him your bow to set it up. <laughs> send, yeah, exactly. Mikey had loaned one of his to somebody else's that didn't show up, and he was like, man, that bow can shoot. So <laughs> maybe, there's, maybe there's an issue. Maybe I need to send one of mine to somebody. <laughs> send it to me, would you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll get it set up. But yeah, yeah, apparently using Demir Elma Achla's back, backup bow and using it to his full advantage. And right now, having a great time. 58 points so far in the match after shooting three straight tens. And the Turkish flag on display, proudly displayed. Yeah, there's nothing like representing your country. I don't care what anybody says or where you're from, there is a pride to that. And, you know, I hear the term world championship thrown around at a lot of different events that don't have anybody really outside the U.S. and you know a lot of the U.S. Oh, we're world champions, and you had somebody from mm -hmm. Canada or so. To me, this is the true stage. There is the best archers from every country, and getting to represent your own country is quite uh, quite an honor. Well, over 500 archers here in Antalya this week, and they came from probably 40, 50. Gosh, I'm not even sure how many nations, but yeah. it is truly a global sport. Yeah, and you've got great archers coming from all over. And I think one of the cool parts is the people. And no matter what country you're from or, or any of that, there's a, archery's full of great people. Great sportsmen. Yeah. Two point advantage now. Nine. Or excuse me, seven point advantage. It was a five point edge after the first end, seven point advantage after the second end. And now depending upon this shot, another seven 10. points after three ends. Still a seven point lead. So yeah. no inroads made that end by Summit John Yakala. And it shows how important it is to get off to a good oh, start. 100%, in all honesty, he shot one eight. Other than that, everything's been in the 10 ring. So he's been shooting very, very well. Never and it's not, I mean, like I said, he's got a 28. Well, I guess he has a 29. He shot a 9. I thought one of them was a 10. But he's got one 9 and one 8. That's a pretty solid shooting out there in that slight breeze. Yeah, they'll shoot 29s here in this third end, but after that slow start, getting out of the gate for Samet Kanyakula, Janyakula, I should say, that 6 really, really yeah. put him behind the 8 ball. Yeah, he dug himself a pretty big hole that's yeah. hard to dig out of. But he's soldiered on. Yeah, he has. And no, not no over give. yet. Nope. I would think not after having to fight so hard just to get to this point. Oh, my gosh. The people don't realize the energy it takes to get through these head-to-head -head matches, the mental exhaustion, the, the other things that go through it. It's a, it's a challenge. Because you play this thing through your mind all day and all night before, don't you? Yes. And then you get in it, and you're... You're shooting head to head, and you're like, man, you're, you've already thought about it a ton, and now you get in there, and your, your your thoughts are like, just like I tell you, oh, you think you got two points, you know, you got this many. Your mind is running eight million miles a minute, and so it's just, it's exhausting. Saw the story I think this week on uh, WorldArchery.org about the new app that's coming out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That helps you uh, assess, I guess, your brain waves and. Um, Try to see what's going on huh. while you're shooting. I'm interested in finding out more about that and how an archer can take that information about what's going through their brain as they're shooting, yeah. analyze that, and then use it to their advantage. Yeah, very much so. That'll be interesting. I believe the, the program's called Hit the Gold. <laughs> so the lead stays at 7, 116-109. Quick shooting by both of the Turkish archers here in the men's gold medal match. Final match of the day on Compound Saturday. And it a pretty is. special one. I mean, the point differential hasn't helped to be the greatest match, but it's pretty cool that there's two Turks out here that 
They're getting to shoot in front of the home crowd, and they know they're going to walk away with the gold and the silver. Sure, they'll be on the podium. There'll be two Turks on the podium for the men, one for the women. Yeah. This is an historic moment for Turkey in the sport of archery. So 116, 109, Evren Shaharan with the lead, took the lead early on, going for his first World Cup medal, and it may be a gold one. Which is not a bad start for your first No. Eh, might as well start at the top. Why not? Yep, I agree. Yeah. yeah. You can always work your way down. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you can Hopefully say that, or you can say I could rather start at the bottom because there's always somewhere to go. But right. you know, there's a lot of different ways to look. Hey, at you know it, what? But. Gold's gold. And by the way, that looks good. I'm sorry, that just looks good. Yeah. Diving in that water. And this temperature, it oh. definitely would be good. Definitely, people out having a good time. And now, Samet John Yakala in troubled waters, They're trying to stay afloat. Well, their their countrymen are in here representing him well. And right now, his uh, fellow countrymen not giving an inch. No. He's all bets are off. All friendships are off. It is just it is just business right now. Yeah. And right now, Evren Sharan is taking care of business. Six-point lead, 135-129. Yep. Yep. Another 10. Nice. Five to win. Score score arrows, and you get the W. He got things squared around, but just not in time. Evan no. Shaharan. And he sticks it right in the middle of the finish. A statement made by that young man who comes over to hug his fellow countrymen. That's history right there, my friends. History in the making. Evren Shaharan. It's awesome. Yeah, he, he'll make the finals. That's a big. I mean, not only does he get the gold medal and the, the prestige here in your own country, but you also, the kind of the cherry on top, you mm -hmm. get to go to the World Cup finals. Big, big day for him. That young man coming through with a huge win in front of the whole nation crowd. There you see the packed grandstands. They were cheering throughout. Not a close match. 145-139, the final score.